What's going on, sports fans, amazing fans, football fans, everyone who's tuning in today? Thanks for tuning in. I'm Coach Ed, and this is Coach Ed's Amazing World of Sports. Now, today I'm going to be starting a series called Coach Ed's Chalk Talk, and this is where I'm going to sit down and give you some plays, some play conceptualizations, some designs, um, everything about the play. You know, I'm going to talk about whatever the play is designed to do, whether it's offense, defense, or special teams. I'm going to have plays that I'm going to pull, whether it's from the professional levels, a high school level, something from my playbook, whatever. I'm going to pull out some plays and I'm going to talk about them. I'm not going to talk about terminology per se, because everyone's terminology is different. But I'm going to give you just the, you know, some of the basic concepts. So this way, when you're watching the game, wherever, whether it's you, football, high school, college pros, whatever, you have a, a broader perspective and an understanding of the game itself. And for those of you who are familiar, it's just giving you another set of eyes and giving you my thoughts on, on a certain coaching play or philosophy. Okay. But before I get into that, I want to ask everyone, if you're new to my channel, make sure you like and subscribe, uh, you like, subscribe, share, also hit the notification so you, you know when I do post new content. And also everyone, just like and share on all your social medias. You guys are helping me grow my channel, so I really appreciate it. So thanks a lot. Now, um, I'm going to get right into a play. But let me pull up the share screen. And here we go with the share. And I'm going to talk about a couple plays. Now, the first one I'm going to talk to you about is actually from a playbook design that I've um, developed. Um, this is actually a play that I have used in the past. Um, this one is actually called Arrow. So this way, um, it's actually from an odd, I mean, even front. You're going to hear me sometimes say even or odd. And I'm going to be talking about the defensive linemen when you hear me talk about that. So if you have four down linemen, that's even. If you had three down linemen, that's odd. You had five, that's odd. If you had six, that's even. Just understand if you hear me say that, that's what I'm referring to. This is actually a four to five concept. That means it's four defensive linemen, two linebackers, and five defensive backs. One, two, three, four, five. I know most people say the W is for will linebacking, but here it's a weak safety. I have a strong safety, weak safety, free safety, two cornerbacks. So those are the 11 players on the defense. Now, if you look at the offense, they're, they're set up with two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right with a running back. All right. So it's called two by two. That's usually how it is. If it was one by three, let's just say one receiver over here and this receiver was over here, that's the three. If you heard me say two by three, two receivers over here, three receivers over here, or empty. That's just giving you, so if you understand when I say certain things, it's not a little bit too confusing. Now, being that the offense is in a two by two and the running back is to the quarterback's left or the defense is right. Now, some people will, some teams will say, the strength is in numbers. So if you hear strong left, strong right, and that's what we're talking to. Strength in numbers means that you have one eligible receiver, two eligible receiver, three eligible receivers on the other side of the quarterback. And then you have one eligible receiver, two eligible receivers to the other side, okay? But based on this defense and the, the alignment of the running back, he's not even with the quarterback, He's a little bit behind. You would anticipate this is a running type of an offense. In other words, if he's running zone read, he's going to cross the quarterback's face. It's easier for him to do that. And if he's back, it also allows him to get a little bit more time to see what's, how the front is blocking and what the defense is doing. They have the strong safety to the defense's left to the offense's right with the weak side safety to the other side. Now, in terms of alignments, this nose guard or defensive tackle 
he's in what I call a 2i. All right, he's on the guard. He's on, in a 2-tech, because the 2-tech, if you look at the techniques, it'll be 0, 2 will be head up. So if he's right in front of the center, it's a 0. If he's right in front of the guard, it's a 2. Right in front of the tackle, it's a 4. If there was a tight end and they were right in front of it, it's a 6. If they are lined up a little bit inside, that's a 2i. If they were inside the tackle, it's a 4i. You get the drift. And then if it's on the outside shade of the lineman, that's a 1-tech, 3-tech, 5-tech, 7, 9. You all get the idea. So this nose guard defensive tackle is in a 2i. He's in a 3-tech. The ends are in a 5-tech. They're right on the outside shade of the tackles. Now, in terms of responsibilities, this tackle's job is to, on the snap of the ball, cross the guard's face and attack this gap. This is the A gap, B gap, C gap. A gap, B gap, C gap. This lineman is responsible for the B gap. So he's crossing the guard's face to get into this B gap. Hopefully this guard will slide over to block him. The ends, this end is on a contain. So he's coming off of the edge, making sure if they try to run outside of him, he has to contain the fo force it back inside and trying to get leverage on them, on the uh, on the ball carrier. So these guys have B gap. He has what is C gap responsibility. This linebacker is blitzing, so he has A gap responsibility. On the other side, this linebacker is blitzing, so he has the other A gap responsibility. Now there's going to be a little trick to this. This tackle, the three tech. He's attacking the offensive tackles inside hip. He's actually responsible for B to C in terms of run responsibility. He still has a force defender who is in a running situation. He will read it and still come up to try and force the play back inside. Same thing on this side. But realistically, if there's a passing situation, he's going to work to contain to make sure the quarterback does not get outside him. Now this end on the snap is taking a step laterally. Ideally what you want to do is take a step up then come lateral to make them think that you're running some type of a cross. This way he will come this way he will and they, they're going to try and say okay let's switch 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 because the, uh, the idea is then he would take him he would take him and it's blocked up. But the trick is he's now coming here and dropping. So if these two come this way, that leaves him here. Now, if he slides this way to pick him up, he has a free run. If he slides this way, he has a free run. If the back steps in to pick him up, okay, that's fine. We still will have enough guys in the in the rush uh, philosophy. One, two, three four, five. And then that would be six guys staying in to block five guys. This end, as I initially said, comes across, but now he's dropping into coverage. He's dropping in the middle of the defense, and he's looking for anything that might cross which way, whichever way to help take it, help the defense, and help take that away and cover it. So when he drops, ideally, you want him to try and get about as deep as possible if he can get good depth, that's great. Then he can get to about 10 yards in, in depth. That would be perfect because that way the, you know, if it's a first and 10 or a second and 10 or a third and 10, we're playing the first down line to take that away. But with the blitz coming, quarterback is going to have to get rid of it as quick as possible. This weak side safety, he's in what I call the He's in the curl to the hook flat area. So he ideally would sit in the curl reading the number two receiver. What is he doing to the number one receiver? Is someone going flat? Because if that's the case, he's going to shoot to the flat and take that. If this receiver comes inside, he's passing it off because he knows he has inside help with this guy coming right here. And if he goes vertical, then he can sit right here 
eyeing the bat to see if the bat comes out. If the bat comes in, then he can still help out here on this guy, kind of bracketing him. Same thing on this side. He's playing the um, he's playing the curl to the hook flat area. Cornerbacks are playing the deep thirds. So in other words, they're going to drop and they're responsible. And, and depending on what, what level, the hash marks are either going to be here. This is usually high school. College is going to be here. And the NFL will be about here. So depending on where the ball is and where this is, his responsibility as far as the deep third would be from the sideline to right in between the numbers and the hash mark, depending on where it's aligned up. If it was a high school, then he's going to be a little bit on the outside of that. Safety is going to take the deep middle. Same thing over here. Now, if they were three over here and we were still running this blitz, if we did not call it off, the free safety, because of his alignment, he's actually aligned to the strong side. He doesn't have to play shoot to the middle of the field. He can just get deck right here because we still have two over here in case one guy is over here. We still have two to cover one, and then we still have two on two. We still are in good position in terms of coverage, and then we have a, no a load four guys over here to cover three. So we are covered. We are fine. The goal is to try and get this, this quarterback to get this ball out as quick as possible, depending on what it is, and then the guys get to the, the ball carry as quick as possible and make the tackle. So again, this is a an even front with a conceptual two inside linebackers blitzing with stunts associated with it. This is a stunt with a linebacker tackle, linebacker tackle end. All right. So that's the first one I wanted to talk to you about. That's going to be called arrow. The next one is going to be on the odd front. Okay. As I talked to you earlier, one, two, three linemen, ends, nose guards. This is a, a, a Sam linebacker, weak side linebacker. This is the inside backer, and this is the mic backer. Then you have the two strong safety and the free safety with the cornerback. Same thing as before with the back, two by two, back to the quarterback's left. We got the strength going to this way. Now, enter playing contain the nose guard. He's automatically slanting towards the guard, and he's responsible for this A-gap, all right? He's trying to pull the center with him, and these two are, should double-team him. The Mike linebacker is going to come here, and then he's going to shoot in here. Now, we could say he's going first. It depends on how you want to do it. He can go first. Ideally, because this is the side, I would have him go first, come up, show that he's blitzing, dance a little bit, take the inside, get into the B-gap, have this guy come along. He's then shooting because he will end up being responsible for the B-gap. He's going to be A-gap responsibility, B-gap, especially if they try to run it because he's coming right there. They're going to cross his face. They're going to have to do something. Down block, kick out, kick out, double team here. Boom, he's crossing. He's going to be right in that gap. They're going to outside contain. Now, in terms of coverage, same responsibilities as previously. All right. He's going to take the curl to the hook flat. Curl to the hook flat. This free safety is a robber. He's coming down, looking for anything crossing. He's responsible for this middle. If they try to run it here, he's actually responsible for this gap. Deep third, deep third, and he's shooting to the middle, taking that away. Same thing if they were coming and moved him over here. If we did not call it off, instead of coming here, he would shoot more here. They're still in good position covering two, two, and we still have good coverage. He's coming down. He would shoot a little bit more, and that would give us four over three. All right, so that's just pretty much it. It's a still a linebacker. This is more of a linebacker cross stunt as opposed to a stunt with a defense alignment and, and a linebacker. Last one I wanted to give you, um, this is on a even front, same concept. You have the nose guard. I know they, this is actually in, in theory is called a, um, this is an over front because you're moving the nose guard over instead of putting them in close to the center, you're moving them over, moving the three tech inside. Some teams will do it this way. 
All right, so same concept to this is the money money backer or money money safety nickel back however you want to categorize it but it's still four three and then this is four deep all right he's responsible as this says curl flat d third middle d third he's responsible for curl flat he's hook hook what we're doing here blitzing this is the force end He's crossing the tackle's face and responsible for the B gap. Nose is crossing the guard's face, responsible for the A gap. He's sliding here. He's working in here to outside contain. All right. And he's dropping. They still have one responsibility. So these two can come inside out. Even if they run, he's going to come and force it inside. He's going to basically inside out across the board. But they're still in a cover three concept. They're just dropping here, 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 and we have four under, and it's supposed to the other defenses were three. So he's flat, curl flat, hook, hook, curl flat. All right, so these are just some simple concepts and some responsibilities defensively I wanted to talk to you guys about, give you a little chalk talk. If you have any thoughts, any questions, definitely hit me in the, in the, in the comment section, and I'll definitely get back to you. Um, Tell me what you guys see. If you've played in, you know, what, what what would you have done? Is there something that you have done in your philosophies defensively or in your schemes or whoever you coach with? Whatever. You know, just wanted to give you a little insight from Coach Ed, how I think, how I see things, how I coach things. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I really do appreciate you guys spending your time with me with my chalk talk. I'm definitely going to be bringing you some more um, offensively, defensively, and special teams. So, um, and if there's anything special you want me to talk about, special scheme that a team runs, definitely let me know. I'll do my research, and then I'll get back to you and and hopefully have some cutouts. Or if I need be, I will do draw designs. I can do it on a whiteboard and show it to you in that regard. So, again, thank you guys for tuning in today. I really appreciate you guys. And like I always say in sports, Make sure you turn it on and turn it up. Peace.